Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Lapix. Got another video for you guys today. A really cool, interesting one. Always, I always think my videos are interesting anyway, but you know, who knows? But I think this one's a little bit uh, interesting just because of the symptoms and what's going on with it. But so I have this Dell laptop here. I think believe this is like a business class one, Dell Latitude. Um, it was a 5591. Doesn't really matter. I don't really believe it's a, a laptop, a certain laptop model make or anything. But so if I go ahead and let's say I'm going to bring up Chrome, I'm going to bring up Chrome and we see this here. See that? It says no internet, whatever. It's not the point about it. But you see there's distortion all over it, right? And the lettering. Now I'm going to go to a website. I'm not even, man, I'm not even on, the, <laughs> on anything right now. I'm going to bring up a new browser page. It looks fine. So if I go to what incognito window? Yeah. So look, I even bring up like something like an incognito window. You see, look at how scrambled everything looks. See all the words and everything? Now, that happens in Chrome. Now, it doesn't happen on the desktop. The desktop's actually fine. And it only seems to happen like in uh, Chrome. And then also, so if I bring up Chrome again, let's see, even as I bring it up, you see it's all scrambled there. And then also, I've noticed that it actually happens in Edge as well. Um, and this is actually, I don't know if you guys can see it up close, but there's particles everywhere. See that? There's little pixels everywhere. I'm bringing it up to it, right? So that's really interesting. I'm going to bring in, hook it up actually to the internal one so you guys can see it a little bit better. So you see, you can see all the pixels, all the lines here and everything. And it seems to only be inside the window, right? It doesn't really seem to be outside of here. So like inside of um, just of where even like edges too, right? So we can put them side by side. Even this gets a little pixelated too. You can see a little bit better. All right, so I'm connected to the internet. Let's go to Google. And you see this too? Look at that. Even on the side there, right? It's really weird. And look, even if I put my cursor over it, you see all the dots? They kind of go in and then they go out, right? So it looks like they're going away. And man, I hope there are not our websites like that either, right? Oh, no. So let's go to lapfix.com. Oh, look at that. Oh, look. Oh, wait, no, there it goes. <laughs> We're not special either. Now you're thinking, why is it in Chrome and it's an Edge? And why is it just those two, right? So these are Chromium-based browsers. Both of them use the same type of like, architecture there. Um, now, if we actually go to our settings here, we can go to the three dots in the corner. Let's go to our settings here. And now I'm thinking because you see this, you see how it's kind of, it's, it's still distorted. I'm thinking this may be some type of uh, GPU, um, some problem, right? Maybe with the GPU or something. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to system. I'm going to go to system. And I'm going to turn off hardware acceleration. Now I'm going to relaunch it. Look, it even, <laughs> even shows that that's going to happen there, too. Now you see it? Now it looks like it all went away. So let's go back. And now you see this. Look, lettering's fine. Uh, let's see if it changed anything else on this one, right? Because this one should still be messed up, right? See this? This one's still messed up. And see, this one looks to be good. Looks like our Google search is fine. What about the Google search here? You see that? So it looks fine. So I'm going to do the same thing over here on Edge. I'm going to go to um, Settings. And we still have all that gibberish. Oh, look at <laughs> Look how weird. And you see, even when I go over with, with my cursor, it kind of makes a little bit more sense because there, there's a problem with it. So in here, I'm not sure off the top of my head exactly. I'm just going to do hardware. <laughs> hardware. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm going to play with it a little bit. It should be a hardware accelerator, right? There we go. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. So it's under system as well. Use hardware acceleration when available. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to hit restart. And boom, everything works. It is to the way it actually is there. So that's how you actually fix that. You can turn off hardware acceleration. It uses help a little bit more, uh, especially if you're using it for a little bit more like GPU intensive stuff. So if you're trying to watch videos or something, maybe you want to turn that on to help a little bit of performance because it can be a little bit choppy. But if you recently got an update, most likely, and you see this problem, most likely uh, there is just a problem with the update itself. You can try a clean install. I would just wait really to turn it back on. If you don't notice it, just leave it off for now. Um, wait to turn it back on once you get the next build. Um, see if that's going to go ahead and fix it. If it doesn't, you can try clean install that. And if that doesn't fix it, then, well, you may have a problem with your GPU. So hope you guys enjoyed watching. found this video just somewhat type of informative if you have this problem. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. See you guys next video. Take care, guys. Bye.